What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. when you nod your head, yes, but you wanna say no. What do you mean? Hey, yeah. when you don't want me to move, but you tell me to go. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Since you're running out of time. What... Hello, everyone. We are from Budapest, Hungary. I'm Shatsi. I'm Mark. I'm Anna. I'm Petra. I'm Alex. I'm Henny. First, we are going to introduce our school. This is Rényi Miklós Grammar School. It is situated in the suburbs of Budapest, a bit far from the city center. About 500 students attend our school, half of them living in the neighboring towns and villages. What I'm saying Trying to catch the beat Make up your heart Don't know if you Our school has three floors And many classrooms Some of them are special Like the music room The science labs And the IT classes On the first floor There are the headmasters And the secretary's offices Opposite them There is the staff room meeting for the teachers of the eight participant schools was held at our institution between the 10th and the 12th of November 2014. The aim of this visit was to familiarize the goals and the details of the program and to get to know each other's schools and teachers. 
The main objectives of the program were presented by the Greek School, that is the coordinating institution of our Erasmus Plus program. The educational system of the partners' countries as well as their schools were also presented. Our grammar school was inter introduced by Gönci David, a student from year 10. During their stay in Budapest, the teachers set the dates of the meetings for the first year in which students take part as well. Besides the serious work, our guests had some time and opportunities to get to know our capital a bit. We organized the guided sightseeing tour and a visit to the parliament and the national museum too. And now let's listen to our mates who are going to talk about the duties we have fulfilled. And now let's see how we spent these two years with the Erasmus Plus. Last year we started it out with some art students planned the logo for our common project. Have a look at some of them. Another work from us was poster making. It was a task for the freshmen that is for classes 9. They were eager to do it and happy to decorate their classrooms with the posters later. For the meeting in Bulgaria, we prepared some cartoons on safer internet. Of course, it was not all about art. We did so many things between the meetings, like completing our common wiki site with useful terms and words that can be related to the internet. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore like we used to do. We don't laugh anymore. What was all of it for? Finally, as it was so much work and fun to collect all the typical food and drinks for the participating countries. Our students wrote books for a song, made some presentations and video as well. We presented our school and educational system in English and also two guys shot a film on safer internet for the meeting in Romania. We are from Hungary, Budapest, Zrini Mikos Secondary Grammar School, and we are going to talk about internet safety. The internet is the best thing in the world. When everybody starts to use it, everybody always knows everything. We can talk with each other if we are on the other side of the earth. But there are a lot of disadvantages too. There are a lot of people who would like to steal information and money too, so we have to be careful when we are surfing in the internet. We would like to show you the damage of the internet and how you can surf safely. Let's see the password safety. When you are thinking about the password, you should find out a word which is easy for you to remember. It can be some part of your name, your address, your pet's name, your hobby or your birthday. It's very important the password consists of some number, capital letter and if possible, special character too. If you can choose a strong password, you can feel your information in safe because people can solve it. There are programs made to get, generate strong password. Let's talk about phishing now. In Hungary we call it adatholászat, literally data phishing. Phishing is when somebody tries to steal data, for example your, your credit card number. How they do it? You get an email from your bank or other service provider which says because of some changes in their system you have to re-give your password, username or credit card number. If you see an identity thief you know what I am talking about. We had some briefings from experts too. We had one on sports and health day in December 2014. That day we could take part in an interactive lecture on Saver Internet. Our students participated in a meeting where an expert presented data, statistics and findings of the recent surveys carried out to reveal the influence of the internet on teenagers. Another one, another one was a lecture on the threats of the net. 
The briefing was quite interactive as the lecturer tried to rely on our students' experiences and comments. In December, we had a new briefing and classes devoted to the safer use of the net. Lectures, films, quizzes, PowerPoint presentations made the day useful for both our students and teachers. First, we had an expert talking about the safer use of the net and also about the social website and how one can make a strong password. Our kids are eager to listen to the handy tips they were given about Facebook too. 2015 started with more and more work. For the meeting in Livice, we had to make a quiz using hot potatoes and also we were asked to prepare a game and create rules to eat. It wasn't difficult at all as we like both quizzes and games. One of our English teachers made student with familiar the expression and words used in the topic of cyberbullying. They were explained words like grooming, stalking, harassment, sexting, and so on. An important part of the day was when four of our students made a peer-to-peer -peer presentation on the achievements and results of the previous academic year. They talked about the goals of our project, use of Europe Connect to a right net, the activities we did at school and the dissemination we could transfer to parents and local schools. On that day, another activity they could participate in was an extract from the film Trust, which deals with the topic of grooming, that is how an adult man contacts a teenage girl via the net and makes an affair with her later. The final activity was a quiz and game for the participants, Answers were evaluated, scored, and rewarded, of course. You're just a chance I take to keep on dreaming. You're just another day that keeps me breathing. Baby, I love the way that there's a thin shore. Baby, go stop me. Hide away with me some more. The end of 2015 meant a new questionnaire for the students of our school. The number of students participated in the survey was 100. The number of boys, 42, and that of the girls, 58. Most of the students were 15, 17 year olds. To sum up, we can claim that though there are some students who are not aware of all the risks of the use of the net, vast majority of them are careful enough while browsing the web or posting stuff on it. For Karate Youth, we brought the script on how to use the internet creatively. We thought of a modern family who are planning a holiday in Mexico with the help of the IT experts' kids and of course the internet. In it, we try to show the various aspects and possibilities the World Wide Web can offer while arranging your holiday. Everybody get up! We made some huge posters with the intention to introduce the partner countries, their culture, cuisine, landscape and sites too. We wanted to show our students and visitors the places we visited and the work we did in these two years.
We printed out flyers and brochures for the students and their parents at our school and also for the pupils of the neighboring schools. We informed them about the Erasmus Plus program in general, put an emphasis on the importance of being protected on the net and sharing knowledge and websites that are useful for teenagers. We have designed a bag with the logo of our project on it. We were happy to distribute it among our students and teachers to present the success of Erasmus Plus. Another product we designed with the help of the art teacher is a t-shirt in various colors for the freshman. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say.